It's the NBA on 2K Sports. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Anderson, along with Grant Hill and Brent Berry, our distinguished analyst. Allie LaForce on the sidelines. It's the Los Angeles Clippers taking on the Washington Wizards. So here's the Clippers starting group. We've got Kawhi Leonard. He's out there with Chris Paul. And it's Maggette in at the three, the small forward. Here's McAdoo. Pass to Paul. Leonard outside. Fades back. And the bucket is good. And Kawhi Leonard will gladly take that look. And it's Wall with the ball for the Washington Wizards. Hayes with it. Beal surveying the D. Pass to Arenas. Down to five on the shot clock. Gets the three ball to go. A good heads up from Bradley Beal. The spots the ready shooter. Arenas has gone one for two from deep. Leonard outside. A little over a minute gone here in the first quarter. Back to Paul. Fires for three. It's Hayes with the rebound. Beal with it. Outside wall. Hayes up top. Pass to Arenas. From the low block. It's hauled in by the Clippers. Leonard outside. The three is up. And can't get it to go. Now one of two. Unsell. Pass to Wall. Puts it up from 17. And he hits the jumper for two. Nice job breaking down the defense. Wall takes these mid-range J's when the D gives him the chance. Ball against Wall. Leonard outside. He shoots. The kick out to Griffin. Paul for three. It's hauled in by Beal. He really suffocated him there, guys. Just excellent work. Arenas passes to Wall. Paul with some nice D. It's one thing to prevent the layup. It's another to do it without fouling. Oh, oh, oh man. Oh. oh. Wow, what a moment right there. Griffin putting on a show. He is just an awesome dunker. And so Wall will bring it up for the Washington Wizards. And we're about three minutes into this first quarter. Wall with the screen on Griffin. Pass to Beal. Here's the three. And the Wizards with another three. And I'm not sure. Bradley Beal has to be somewhere high up on the scouting report. And the defense lost him. Leonard outside. And here's Griffin. He's defended by Hayes. And Hayes comes to help. Leonard for three. Nails it from three. Leonard's got five now. Well, he's hit a couple big threes in his career. Leonard not afraid to come back with one of his own. Wall, the pass to Arenas. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. And it's blocked. What a play as he just snatches the shot out of midair. Pass to Maggette. And he's going for the oop here. Out of bounds. It'll be Washington's ball. I know people can't see you, but you're doing what I'm doing. Scratching your head to that turnover. The Wizards with a lead. To the middle. Ooh, Griffin with the steal. Wall against Paul. And the shot goes. How about the change of speed from Chris Paul? That helps out a lot. Adept at getting his shots off under some heavy pressure. Here's Arenas. Leonard defending. Gets it to drop. Now two of four. Such a critical part of how their offense is going to flow. Things are only working when he seems to be on the floor. 
Leonard outside. Right at the free throw line. Rebounded by Unsell. Oh, can't punish the defense for leaving him open that time. That's a frustrating miss for a really steady jump shooter. Beal outside. Let's go with a three. Rebounded by Kawhi Leonard. And you never want to give a shooter like him a clean look. Down low. Here's McAdoo. Oh. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. Yeah, you never want to let shots at the rim go uncontested. Shooting for L.A. Bob McAdoo taking two shots. First free throw is good. And Rose checked in for Wall. That one falls, so he hits both of them. He's one of the league's best free throw shooting bigs. A performance like this certainly proves it. Here's Monroe. Pass to Arenas. Here's Hayes. Three-pointer. Beal knocks down the triple. Beal's got six. They keep capturing the lead and giving it back. We'll see if they can hold on to it this time. Well, you can tell they really want to increase this lead. They can't keep letting them take it from them. Here's McGetty. Still no points. Griffin, a screen on Beal. McGetty. And the Clippers miss again. And the Wizards with possession here. Hayes, the pass to Arenas. Here's Unsell. Fires it. And another basket for Washington. There's just no reason to give him inside position. Yeah, when he's this close to the basket, it's, it's a wrap. Pass to Free. They set the pick. Inside. The kick out to Paul. Six on the shot clock. Jacks up a three. He buries it from three. He's got five. That's why Chris Paul is so special. It's because he can just navigate around pick and rolls, find open areas, and there's just no defense for that. Now here's Griffin. Pass to Paul. Here's Free from the arc. Oh, and another three for the Clippers. These teams just feeling each other out. Yeah, I love the spirit out there. Already six lead exchanges. Timeout called. The Wizards. They're just giving away a run right now. The question is, can they stop the tide? Hard to say right now. At this point, I've seen the coaches run through two or three iterations of defense. Is there a fourth? I'm not sure. Hayes, the pass to Monroe. Deflected! Outside Paul. Pass to Griffin. Here's Free. Takes a three. The rebound by the Wizards. Unseld's got four rebounds now. Washington trailing. Here's Arenas. Five points in the game. Takes it inside. Griffin pulls down the board. And the Clippers have possession. Pass to free. Here's McAdoo to the paint. Knocks it loose. Here's Monroe. He's guarded by Paul. Now Hayes. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. It doesn't get any easier than that. The defense has to play better. Harper, he's checked in for Los Angeles. First team foul. At the line for the Wizards. One shot. 
Find the lanes. Find the lanes. One shot. The Clippers trail. Getty, top of the key, the rebound by the Wizards. Here's Monroe, yet to see a basket. Now here's Hayes. To the inside. Oh, great D that time from Griffin. And even though he couldn't send the shot back at him, he certainly altered it. Yeah, that's the kind of energy that you want to see on every possession throughout the game. Here's Harper. Here's Free. Shot clock at five. Pass to Harper. Launches it. Sinks the tray. And Los Angeles leads by two. Wow, eight lead changes in the first half. Unbelievable. Yeah, both sides digging in for what looks like a war. One row with a bucket. These teams are finding the range, showing a lot of confidence. It seems like they're going to find out who can make the deepest threes. Right now, it's a shootout. And stolen by Hayes. Here's Monroe. Pass to Hayes. Here's Monroe. The Wizards need to get off a shot here. And the shot goes in. Always fun to look at. Not tremendously efficient, but the floater. Boy, those sure are pretty. Here's Free to the middle. And a strong finish with two hands. And there are only a few players in the league who can hit a teammate like that in stride. Beautiful assist. Pass to Hayes. Beal outside. Back to Hayes. Here's Arenas. And there are the Wizards with another bucket. Two teammates connecting right there. Slick feet. Griffin on the wing. Here's Free. Again, the Clippers score. Yeah, you don't want to leave people open when Blake Griffin has vision of the floor. He exploited the hole in the defense that time. They set a pick. Monroe. Off target with the three. A minute nine left to play in the first quarter. Harper passes to Free. Pass to McGetty. Griffin on the wing. Over Hayes. Griffin's shot is off. Well, maybe not the best shot against that kind of defense, but he still has the ability to knock that kind of shot down. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Pass to Free. 24 seconds left in the first quarter. The kick out to Griffin. McGetty, pounded by Beal, lets it go. He drains it as the shot clock ticks down. And Los Angeles leads by one. Well, it's certainly been a roller coaster ride. <laughs> you do me one, I'll do you one better. It feels like we have a lead change every few possessions. No one covering. Beal's got nine. And Bradley Beal is going to stretch out a defense with that kind of range. He's off on that one. Bradley Beal has been leading the charge for the Washington Wizards. Hitting three trays in the quarter, providing some sharp shooting. All right, stick around. We'll be right back after this.
And close game underway so far. We'll see if either of these teams can jump out ahead in the second quarter. Let's get a quick check of the scoring breakdown here for Washington. Well, we're in the era of the three-point basket. So if you want to win games in this league, you have to connect from deep. And they have been thus far. Well, not only that, but you love how unselfish they've been to start this game. That's going to get all the guys in a great flow and feeling good. So moving that ball around and scoring off assists, it's a nice way to play. They've got Hayes. He's out there with Butler. And it's Malone in at the center position. That's the five on the floor for the Wizards. Free to pass to McAdoo. And he caught that pass in full stride on his way to the big slam. The impressive one-hand slam right there, B.A. Man, as long as he's confident about it, I'm good with it. Maybe use two hands next time. He knows where he is. Pass to Butler. Here's Chenier. Harper pulls it in. Hayes misses. Hayes is gone, just one of five shooting from the floor. Here's Free. Here's Manning. Free to pass to Manning. Out of bounds. The Clippers will keep possession. Clippers substitution. DeAndre Jordan. Elton Brand. And we're now about a minute into the second quarter of play. And a fast break now for the Wizards. The pull up. Monroe with a bucket. Monroe's got five. Of all the action happening there, it's the assist that jumps out to me there. That's just a great look and a great setup for the bucket. Now here's Paul. He's got five. Let's it go from 14. It's Hayes with the rebound. Hayes has got four rebounds now. Second quarter, a little over a minute and a half in. Chenier passes to Hayes. Here's Chenier. Clock at six. Pass to Monroe. Fires the three. And it's Jordan with the rebound. The Clippers trail. Here's Brand. Jordan misses. Looking for the spectacular and coming up empty. Yeah, you can see when it's that close, players react. He goes, oh, man, we just missed that one. Maybe they'll get another chance at it. Here's Monroe. Pass to Chenier. Here's Monroe. Here's Chenier. Still without a bucket. He's now one for two with that bucket. Second quarter play, almost three minutes gone here. Here's Brand. Butler covering. Pass to Manning. Five to shoot. Paul for three. Sends it home from three-point land. Give him eight. Just sticking with the play, Chris Paul there determined to make something happen. Maintains his focus all the way through that one. And there's the lob. Ooh, it's stolen by Jordan. Here's Brand. Back to Paul. Pass to Harper. There's a screen. This one for three. Oh, and another three for the Clippers. Easy look when the defender isn't fighting over the screen. And the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. Here's Monroe. He's got five. Hayes with a screen on Paul. Here's Monroe. It's hauled in by Brand. We'll have a hard time shaking that one off. Perfect position, plenty of space. Just clanked it. Outside Paul. Pass to Manning. With a nine-footer. And again, it's the Clippers. That's some classic Chris Paul in action, reading the floor and finding the opening. Here's Chenier. 
Here's Malone. Outside Butler. Sinks it from distance. Butler's got his first three points of the game. Defensively, got to close out a little faster. That's a look you'll make with regularity. Ball from deep three-point land. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Washington trailing. Outside Butler. Inside. Shoots from the right block. And it's Hayes. That time on the assist from Butler. Hayes has got five points. And so Paul will bring it up for Los Angeles. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. Here's Griffin. Oh! 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 Wow! And it's thrown down hard with both hands. And just staying in control. This is Griffin's mindset, keeping his balance even when the D is present. Fires in the triple. He's the last guy you want to leave alone on the perimeter. Passes to free. And he lobs it up. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Wizards. A sloppy turnover. When you're not locked in, pay the price. On the court. Now Wall. Who poked away. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Wall. Clippers with the ball. Leonard outside. From behind the arc. The rebound by the Wizards. Hayes has got six rebounds in the game. Here's King. Leonard defending. And here's Hayes. He's got five. Just five to shoot. Hayes with a screen. Here's King. Over to the wing. Here's Arenas. Hits a three-pointer. Arenas has got 13. That's a shot he's going to bury, especially when left open. Screen by Griffin. Pass to Leonard. Here's Free. 19-footer, and he gets the jumper to drop. Seven points in the game. 
The Wizards with a lead. And here's Hayes. Here's the floater. And he lays it in. Always fun to look at. Not tremendously efficient, but the floater. Boy, those sure are pretty. Ball against Wall. Here's Free. Seven points in the game. And that really has to lift his teammates' spirits right now. I'll tell you, Grant, these second-chance buckets could be what this game comes down to. Well, especially in a close game, every possession matters. Arenas passes to Unsell. Here's Arenas. They swipe it. Outside Paul. Here's Griffin. Second chance effort. Tipped. Here's Unsell. Pass to Arenas. Now here's Hayes. Here's Unsell. And again, it's Washington converting. There's just no reason to give him inside position. Yeah, when he's this close to the basket, it's, it's a wrap. The Clippers call timeout. And things are always changing throughout a game. Teams have to adjust on the fly. And timeouts are a wonderful opportunity to just settle in and recollect the thoughts of your entire team. Not just the guys playing, but the entire team. And the Clippers making a change here. Harper's checked in. Pass to McAdoo. Here's Free. Three-pointer. That's good. For the day, he's four for six. Three-point field goal. Free has gone four for six from the field. Hayes with a screen from outside the arc. Arenas shot is off. And <laughs> just terrible defense. I don't know how he missed that shot. McAdoo, pass to Free. Leonard outside. That would have put him up. Leonard's gone two of seven, struggling a bit. Pass to Wall. Here's Arenas. 13 points in the game. Connects from downtown. And being that Wall is a point guard, it's his responsibility to facilitate. Just a terrific dime right there. Down low. Free. Banked it in off the glass. Free. He's got 12 points. That's been the story of their offense so far. Getting a number of looks from point-blank range. Here's Wall. Rebound by the Clippers. McAdoo's got nine rebounds now. Oh, there's the alley! And Griffin slams it in. And this is why Blake Griffin appears on your highlight reel on a nightly basis. Loves rising up for the alley-oop. Here's Arenas. 16 points for him. Unloads. Good! Now 7 for 11 on the night. One team gains momentum, then the other storms back. Hey, if this is any indication of how the game is going to go, we're in for a treat. Now here's Griffin. They trail by one. It's blocked! 156 left in the second. Pass to Arenas. The three! Griffin pulls down the board. Griffin's got five rebounds in the game. Here's Harper. Here's Free. 12 points for him. Leonard looking around. Six to shoot. Griffin with it. Let's the three fly. It's Hayes with the rebound. Ball with it. Pass to Arenas. Hayes with a screen. We've got 113 left in the first half. Here's Arenas. That one's good from the corner. Now it's a three-point Washington lead. And so far, he's a can't-miss player. A superb scorer who plays to his strength. Here's Free. It's on target from the high post. Free's got nine points in the quarter. Free's gone six of eight from the field. Now Wall. Here's Arenas. 
Outside wall. Shot clock at six. Three-pointer. Arenas with the bucket. Arenas has got 23. Pretty even game going on here in D.C. Nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Pass to free. Here's Harper. Wall covering with the runner. Uses the glass to drop it in. Harper's got eight. Easy look when the defender isn't fighting over the screen. Yeah, the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. And here's Wall. Off target at the rim. And the first half comes to an end. We've got a close game going here. Wizards out in front. They lead by a bucket. And we'll be back for the second half following the break. Keep it right here on 2K Sports. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, this second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams trying to gain an edge. And so it's Paul who brings up the ball for Los Angeles. And so in the game for Los Angeles, Kawhi Leonard out there with Chris Paul. Then there's Blake Griffin, and it's Maggetti in at the three spot. Here's Arenas. And that one is hammered home! So courageous, taking it right to the defender. Oh, this dude knows how to finish in traffic. Wow. Now here's Paul. Four-point game. Leonard for three. It's good. The assist that time from Paul. Paul's got three assists in the game. Wasting zero time. Kawhi Leonard knew what he wanted to do. Unsell. Pass to Beal. Three-pointer off the mark. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Leonard with a screen on wall. Here's Paul. Oh, the go-ahead bucket, no good. He's got a nice feel for that crossover, but you still have to finish. And if you're just joining us, we've played just over a minute here in the third. Here's Unsell. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. Unsell's got eight points. The defense couldn't collapse quickly enough. Pass to McAdoo. Outside Paul. Here's the pick for the tie. On target from range. 11 points in the game. And if he gets a good look, Paul's going to make you pay from distance. Paul against Wall to the paint. He's got another one. That's 10 for 15 now. Another shot right in the lane. That's been their MO this evening. Here's Paul. And there's another one Chris for the Paul. Clippers. Shot selection from Chris Paul on point there. An efficient shooter off the dribble. Here's Arenas. Leonard defending. Pass to Hayes. Now Wall. Over Paul. And there's Wall. That one's good. On the assist by Hayes. Hayes has got six assists in the game. Here's McAdoo. Back to Paul. Leonard outside. With those long arms and with the high release point, Leonard is practically daring you to foul him. personal foul. First team foul. Shooting for L.A. Kawhi Leonard, two shots. Oh. 
Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. Yeah, he may not play in every game, but when it matters, Kawhi Leonard, he's about as good as it gets. And so he hits both. It's not luck that he's so steady at the line. It's through repetition and hard work. Wall looking over the floor. Pass to Arenas. 4-3. They get it again. Unsell. And it's flushed down. A nice jam. <laughs> and this is something he does all too well. Great position for the putback there. And I like how he doesn't think twice about passing it out. Just going right for the slam. Well, his competitiveness right now is why the teammates love him. Here's Arenas. He's got 25. Third quarter of basketball here. A little under three and a half minutes gone by. Here's McGetty. The kick out to Paul. Pass to Griffin. Back to Paul. Four on the clock. Shoots over Wall. And Paul gets it to go. Paul's got 15. Yeah, hard to stop CP3 when he's in the rhythm and he's in the mid-range. It's a deuce. Now here's Wall. Pass to Arenas. There's the three. Rebounded by Chris Paul. Down low. Here's Griffin. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. And Griffin is physical right there, bumping in and picking up a personal. Shooting for L.A. Blake Griffin at the line for two. Shooting two. And falls that puts him up one point in the game now and there's some unique qualities to the play of Blake Griffin a big with incredible handles and passing skills who can still throw it down it's both from the stripe about the unselfishness of this team. Yeah, the willingness to make the next pass has this defense scrambled. Here's Arenas. Pass to Hayes. Shoots over Griffin. Hayes, shot's good. Nine points in the game. And a defensive mindset has to maybe get to the mid-range. They didn't do a good job pressuring the shooter on that possession. Shoots. And again, it's the Clippers missing. And so it's Beal who brings up the ball for Washington. Now here's Wall. Out to the right wing. It's stolen by Leonard. Here's a three from Paul. Rebound Washington. Hayes has got rebound number 13 for him here tonight. Beal finds Wall. Now Hayes. Here's Arenas. Good work defensively by Leonard. Here's McAdoo. Give him eight. Leonard outside. Launches the three. And that three is knocked down by Kawhi. Don't sleep on Kawhi's range. He'll burn you from down deep. Deal with it. Nine points in the game. Left side wall. Pass to Arenas. Just five on the clock. And Kawhi Leonard gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul of the game. First team foul. Out 
Outside wall. Six on the shot clock. Here's Arenas. Leonard defending. And it's good with time running down on the shot clock. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. We're tossing out t-shirts and looking for the craziest fans. Let's hear ya. The Clippers in the lead. Now Paul, 15 points in the game, and he gets the bucket. Oh, what a crafty move, causing the defender to pause right there. Wall, the pass to Beal. Back to Wall, over Paul. Wall, no good. So it's the Clippers now. Pass to Paul. Here's McAdoo. Wall covering. Here's McGetty. Oh, and another three for the Clippers. He's going to punish you if you leave him open. He's more than willing to take the open three when he's got it. Wall, the pass to Hayes. Knocked away. Hayes with a screen on Leonard. Back to Hayes. Here's Wall. Gets it to go from 18 feet away. Wall's got four points now in the quarter. Wall's gone three of seven tonight. Paul against Wall. Pass to McGetty. Griffin, a screen on Beal. Here's McGetty. The kick out to Paul. And there's a pick. The three ball. The rebound by the Wizards. <laughs> and I'm surprised that didn't go down. I mean, I'm sure he is too. Clippers foul. Scoring again. Monroe's checked in for Washington. And the Clippers making a change here. Substitution on the court. Hayes, the pass to Arenas. The Wizards with another miss. Won't see him miss that one too many times. Yeah, that happens. Important thing is for players, just don't beat yourself up and make a miss like that cost you another play. Washington trailing. Here's Monroe. Five points in the game. Peel from outside. The rebound by McAdoo. Pass to McGetty. Good. He hits the jumper. McGetty's got seven points in the game. Now a timeout called by Washington. For Los Angeles. And the Wizards with possession here. They trail by six. Here's Monroe. Here's Arenas. And the three pointer goes. Arenas has got 30 points. Now that's the kind of passing right there that makes a difference. Not just in that possession, but maybe on your play for the entire game. Now here's Griffin. Give him eight. McAdoo, pass to Harper. Five on the clock. Inside. Oh, and a beautiful feed leads to a monster jam. And that's a double-double for him now. 
Yeah, undersized guys with athleticism do these kind of things, playing above the rim. Love to see him get up like that. Pass to Monroe. And here's Hayes. Here's Beal. Griffin pulls down the board. Griffin's got his sixth rebound on the night. Paul with it. Fires at the elbow. Again, the Clippers score. And despite the defender's length, he goes right up from the mid-range. I don't think he sees any kind of defense when he's at that range. It doesn't matter who's guarding. Now here's Hayes. He's got nine. Pass to Monroe. Here's Unsell. Beal outside. Now Hayes. Second chance shot. And he lays it up and in. Hayes has got 11. Really nice job. The timing on that pass from Bradley Beal. 143 left in the third. Here's McGetty. And it's rejected. They recover it. Out of bounds. It'll be Washington's ball. Substitution on the court. One thirty-six left to play in the third quarter. Hayes, the pass to Chenier. Butler taking his time here. Hayes with a screen. And it's off from three-point range. And so Paul will bring it up for Los Angeles. Leading by five. Pass to Brand. Here's McAdoo. Out left to the wing. Here's a three from Paul. Knocks it down from distance. Paul's got 14 points here in the second half. And I see that clock just winding itself back. Chris Paul filling it up offensively. Throws it up. Oh, yeah. oh my goodness! I did wow. not know he could get up like that. I would imagine it's nearly impossible to not get fired up after that play. Grant, check these guys out on the bench. Their reaction says it all. They are fired up. Here's a three from Paul. It's Hayes with the rebound. End of quarter management here. They can go two for one. Make the math work in your favor. To the left side wing. Here's Monroe. That three's off the mark. Two seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. And here's Paul. He's got 22. 11 seconds left in the third quarter. Five to shoot. The Clippers got a hurry. Late clock here. That three off target. Had some space there after the pump fake. The third quarter comes to a close. The Clippers on top, leading by six. And we'll have the start of the fourth quarter for you as soon as we get back from this short break. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm Assist of the Game. And he definitely deserves the award. Reading the defense like a point guard. So helpful to the offensive versatility when your bigs can create freeing everybody up and that cut was wide open. Well, this has been a great contest so far. I imagine the fourth quarter could have more action in store for us. And there's the screen. Here's Arenas. And finished off by Hayes. <laughs> Crashes the glass with authority, then puts it back strong. Next level, man. This guy's just going out and making a play. And for Los Angeles, Blake Griffin out there with Kawhi Leonard. Then there's DeAndre Jordan, and it's Harper in at the point. Leonard. Rebound by the Wizards. Unseld's got 11 rebounds in the game. And for Washington, here's Arenas. 
buries it from three. Arenas has got 10 points here in the second half. That's exactly the kind of shooting you need down the stretch to win games. Leonard outside. There's the triple. Matching him shot for shot. Kawhi. And both teams running long-range plays that are working. Well, both of them looking towards the three-point line. And I like to see that, especially when the results are made buckets. Now here's Wall. Defense right on him. Hayes with a screen. Arenas shot is off. Yeah, you know, he usually makes you pay from that range. And a little over a minute and a half gone by in the fourth. To the inside. Here's Free. Takes the assist and lays it in. Nice setup. Assisted. And now a six-point Los Angeles lead. This is when your interior D has to be on high alert. Wall, the pass to Arenas. They set the screen. To the middle. And finished off by Hayes. Oh, what great action we've seen tonight. Hard to imagine a more entertaining game. No, this is about as high octane a game as you're going to find. Now here's Leonard. Over Butler. Shot by Leonard. No good. Outside Butler. Pass to Unsell. Some solid defense from Jordan. And the Clippers with the ball. Four-point game. Harper passes to Leonard. Up top, Griffin. Here's Jordan. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Not easy to cover DeAndre Jordan when he's that deep inside. Nearly impossible to stop. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Clippers. Well, they have owned the offensive perimeter throughout this game. Finding lots of openings and turning them into big shots. And throughout the game, the mid-range area has been their bread and butter, continuing to pull up from there with a tremendous amount of confidence. That free throw, no good. Well, there is continuous energy in DeAndre Jordan's play, really hustling on both ends and influencing those plays with that activity. He hits the second from the line. Just a great job of adding to their lead. Late in the game, every point matters. There's a screen. Wall, the pass to Arenas. And good. Coming on the assist by Wall. Arenas has got six points in the quarter. Easy look when the defender isn't fighting over the screen. And the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. from our reporter, Ali LaForce. Hey guys, during that last break, I heard Los Angeles' coach as he addressed his team. He was very passionately telling his team, don't give them an inch when they have the ball. This game is going to come down to defense. I need you guys to work hard and close this one out. Guys? Thank you for that, Ali. Here's Nixon. Oh, they get a hand on it. Leonard passes to Nixon. Pulls up. Rebounded by Butler. Washington trailing. Pass to Arenas. To tie it up. And he sinks the layup. 
Arenas has got 38 points. And just great intensity down the stretch. I mean, he really wants to rock with the game on the line. We'll take a look at him. Locked in right now in this moment. Wants the ball in his hands and feels real comfortable with the shot he's taking. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. And the fans love seeing incredible moments on defense like that block. Yeah, just some terrific effort there. And you know the whole team will get an energy boost off a block like that one. Outside wall. Can't get the go-ahead bucket. Wall's gone three of eight tonight from the field. Griffin passes to Nixon. And this is the absolute wrong time to stop communicating. They have to get in sync. And the Wizards making a change here. Beals checked in. Substitution on the court. An opportunity now to retake the lead. Showing off their intensity these last few minutes. Left side wall. And he drains the quick shot. And Washington leads by two. Some speedy shooting from Wall. He gets the pass and puts his shot right up to beat the D. Here's Nixon. Wall covering. Leonard passes to Griffin. And he takes that one up and powers it through. Well, Leonard usually has humble assist numbers, but that doesn't mean he's not going to keep his eyes open. Here's Wall. He'll bring it up for the Washington Wizards. They've given up just eight points in the fourth. Pass to Arenas. To the wing on the left. Jamison. And again, Washington with a triple. That's just a lapse right there. No matter what, somebody has to be there and get a hand up in the shooter's face. Leonard, right side. To the inside. And that one goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for Washington. Well, the coaching staff has to love what they're seeing on offense. There's so many assists because how this team is moving the ball. And it seemed like throughout this game, right after the jump ball, they've just been feeling it from distance, getting all the looks they want and continuing to take advantage of that three-point line. And the free throw, no good. The Wizards with a lead. Here's Arenas. Off target from three-point range. And lockdown defense against one of the best three-point shooters in the league. Screen by Griffin. Here's Leonard. And yes, it goes. Got a little English on that one. Leonard's got 13 in the second half. It's stolen by Leonard. Tries a 10-footer. Here's McAdoo. Ah! And Wall pulls it down. Pass to Arenas. Takes the three. Doesn't go for him. Now the Clippers with it. They lead by one. Here's McAdoo. Now here's Leonard. Kawhi, so steady inside. And this is a nice outburst on the scoring end for Kawhi. He's been looking for his shot and connecting each trip down. Hayes up top. Pass to Arenas. Hayes with a screen. Pocket four. Now here's Wall to the paint. Here's Unsell. And he bangs it home with one hand. Back to the basics. Unleashing the one-hand flush. Boy, he makes the basics look pretty outstanding, though, huh? <laughs> That's true. Down low. 
McAdoo, pass to Griffin, and Griffin slams it in. That's what you come to see there. Blake Griffin sky high on that dunk. The D has to keep him from getting that deep. Washington calls timeout. It's been quite a game for Chris Paul. With the perimeter D struggling to stay connected to him, they're getting bombarded. Hayes finds Beal to the wing, right side. Arenas passes to Wall. Off target from outside. The Clippers in the lead. Leonard, double team. Back to Griffin. Pass to Leonard. Here's McAdoo. And the dunk to finish it off. A oh, beauty. He put a little flair on that one. Yes, he did. Man, he's a strong finisher, huh? Wall, the pass to Arenas. Inside. It's deflected. And it's the Clippers on the break. Here's Leonard. Here's McAdoo. And he makes it on the layup. And now a seven-point Los Angeles lead. Well, he seems to be in the right place at the right time more often than anybody that's on the court here tonight. We see that pay off. Here's Arenas. That one drops for him. Arenas has got 40 points. And so it's Leonard with it. He'll bring it up for Los Angeles. Knocked loose. Going for the lob and finished off by Hayes. The great read between those two guys. The defense didn't stand a chance, B.A. These two teammates right here, Grant, they are connected. Now here's Paul. Standing at 6'4, Wall is a big point guard. That size, along with his handles, help him operate inside. For the Wizards. Two shots. That free throw misses. And after a series of major injuries, Wall still remains one of the more athletic players in this league. Good on the second one. And they need to play good defense here. That trip to the line helped and hurt. 
Wall against Wall. Leonard for three. Bradley Beal with a rebound. Washington trailing. Pass to Wall. They set the pick. With the fadeaway. Drains the triple. Coming into the league, Wall didn't take many threes, but he's added this dimension to his game. To the inside. Leonard. And the dunk by Leonard. Oh, you can see it from the moment he caught the ball. Leonard looking to rise to the occasion, making the big shot to help the team out. Hayes with a screen. Here's Arenas. Hayes, the pass to Arenas. Clock at six. And he makes no mistake. Slam dunk. This is the very definition of a back and forth contest. Yes, neither side taking its foot off the gas. I'm expecting a spectacular finish. Here's McAdoo. Pass to Maggetti. The three hits the trifecta. Defensive mix up there. He's the last guy you want to leave open. A minute 58 left in the fourth quarter. Hayes with a screen on Leonard. And here's Hayes. Here's Arenas. Drives to the hoop. Oh, a beautiful reverse layup. Arenas has got 44. Oh, just an easy reverse for him. He has nice feel and touch around the bucket. Now here's Leonard. Tightly guarded to the middle. And stolen by Hayes. Some room here for Beal. Griffin pulls down the board. Griffin's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Pass to Paul. Ooh, and Leonard throws it down. And as a defender, you are left somewhat helpless to stop that. Leonard with too many moves in his arsenal and a flood of ice water in his veins. Now here's Wall. Here's Arenas. And good. Coming on the assist by Wall. Arenas has got 47 points. He's a guy that lives for a big moment like that. Great focus and courage in the clutch. McAdoo. Yes! Wow. That takes steady nerves right there. <laughs> Not backing down from this moment here. When the game is close, he kicks it up enough. Ball. And it's in. Now a timeout called by the Clippers. They're down by one. There's 49 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. There's 49 seconds left in the fourth. Leonard, right side. Double team on Leonard. Here's Griffin. Back to Leonard. Out of bounds as Los Angeles keeps possession. Wizards on D. It's a one-point game. Six to shoot. Double team on Leonard. And here's Griffin outside. Rebound Washington. And so they foul intentionally. Second team. We've got 22 seconds left in the fourth. And they go to the intentional foul. And a smart choice right there. You can't allow them to just drain the clock. get the first one to fall. Trying to focus now for the second. And he's able to hit the second one. And that'll put him up two. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. 
They're trailing by two. There's 21 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. Guys, your thoughts? A chance to tie it up here. Well, they just need a solid play right now, and Coach going through his index cards to find one to get something going. Leonard with the ball. It's good! And he's tied it up! What a shot! I love the patience, the tactical mindset of Leonard. He's so good at picking his spots, especially on the pick and roll. Now a timeout called by Washington. Arenas. It's picked off. Down low. Oh, it falls! And Kawhi is certainly one of the strongest players in the league at that position, just doing damage. Washington calls timeout. They're behind by two. Five ticks left in the fourth quarter here. Guys, what do you think? I don't know if they should be greedy here and go for a three. I'd take it to the basket, get a high percentage shot, or maybe get fouled. Five ticks left to play in the fourth. For the win! Oh, that shot had a chance, but the all-or-nothing shot attempt is off the mark. So a close game sees the Clippers taking this one. With the late victory, they upset plenty of these hometown fans. They really should take this win to heart. When the pressure was on, they stepped up and worked twice as hard to overcome it. And that'll do it, folks. For Ali LaForce, Grant Hill, and Brent Barry, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching tonight's game. Now our New Balance Player of the Game.